Hello everyone. Okay, so let's take a look at the OR logical operator. And the OR logical operator is actually spelt out the English word OR. Okay, so let's see an example. So I'm, let's write a little program that's going to check, okay, between two uh, student ages, it's going to check to see if there's at least one person who has an age below the age of, uh, below the age of 18. If one person, at least one person has an age below 18, then the program is going to say there's at least one person um, who has an age below the age of 18. So I'm going to store these student ages in variables. So I'm going to store student one age. I'm going to set it to, let's say, eight for now. And I'm going to um, store or create student two age. And I'm going to set it to about nine for now. And I'm going to store the an adult age as a named constant. So I'm going to store adult age. I'm going to set it equal to 18. Okay. So by popular convention, when you're creating your constant, you want to name them um, as uppercase characters. And if it's more than one word, you want to separate them with an underscore. Okay. So I'm going to use the all logical operator to check if at any time there's at least one student with an age below 18, then we display a message saying, you know, there's at least one student with an age yeah, below 18. If there's no student uh, with an age below 18, then we, just, we say all students have an, an, an age 18 or above. So I'm going to create an if statement and I'm going to say if student one age is less than the adult age. If you have an age less than 18 or student two age, is less than the adult age. And then I'm going to print out a message saying that there is at least one student with an age below. And the good thing is now we have the 18 stored in, an adult, in our adult age constant, so we can use it in our print statement this way. By default, when you pass in value, uh, values in the print function, they are separated with a space, they, or they are printed with a space separate in them. So this is one argument. This is the other argument. They will be separated with a space when they are printed. All right, else, else means that there is no student with an age less than uh, 18. That means the student has, all students have an age 18 or above. So print out a message saying all student uh, or I'll have a have a have have an age above 18 right so we can use again our constant in our print statement so let me explain how it works so with the all logical operator okay with the all logical operator at any time if one boolean expression any boolean expression results to true then the entire expression results to true okay so if if this expression was also true, and this is false, because this is true, the entire expression becomes true. If this expression, <laughs> if this expression here is true, and this is false, because this is true, the entire expression becomes true. If both expressions are true, now it doesn't matter. All we require is that at least one expression here is also true for the entire expression to, to be true. So if both expressions are true, then the entire expression still becomes true because at least one ex one Boolean expression here is true. The only time this results to false is when both expressions are false, when both expressions are false. So let's run this and see. I would say there's at least one student with an age below 18, and it's true. You can check student one age has an age of eight, Right? So over here, student one age is checking if student one age is less than 18, and that's true. And all it requires is that at least one Boolean expression was also true for the entire expression to be true. And so because it found that at least one expression is true, it didn't even go ahead, it didn't waste time checking the other. Uh, it just printed out there's at least one student with an age below 18. Well, in this case, it happens that both of them are. Are, are true. Both students have an age below 18. So because at least one of them is true, the entire expression was also true. I'm going to change one of them again to, let's say, uh, 56. 
right? So I'm going to run this program and it still says there's at least one student with an age below 18. So it checks over here, student one age less than adult age. So student one age is 56. 50, is 56 less than 18? No, right? So this is false. But it comes here and it checks. Is nine less than 18? Yes. So because at least one Boolean expression was also true, the entire expression was also true. And we know with an if statement when this header, when, when this Boolean, ex entire Boolean expression was also true, or when this, the value here, or the expression here was also true, then what's in the if block is going to run. And that's why we still see there's at least one student with an age below 18. Now let's change this to, let's say, 78 and run the program. Now it says all students have an age above 18. Right, because it comes here and it checks, is student one age less than adult age? Is 56 less than 18? No. So this is false. And it comes here and it checks, is student two age less than adult age? Is 78 less than 18? No. So this is false. So both expressions are false. And the only time this results to false is when both expressions are false. And in that case, it's going to print what's in the else part of this um, if else block. So then that's why we see this statement. All students have an age above 18. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to see an example program of how, um, you know, basically make more sense out of the all logical operator. So if you have any questions, please comment down below as, as usual and as always, and I'll do my best and do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then, bye-bye.